Good morning, folks. And boy, do I have a special surprise for you today. Let me stop by saying my uh, very good friend of mine, Zeke, uh, called me up when I was living in Wyoming. Zeke was a retired sheriff in Long Island, New York. And he said, hey, JT, did I ever give you one of my 22 shotguns? And that kind of piqued my attention. I says, no, I don't believe you have, but I wish you would. So he said, sure, and he shipped one to me. Well, I thought it was the neatest thing ever. And then when my wife and I decided that we were going to hit the road full time, well, I couldn't take it with me. We already had too many firearms with us as it was inside the RV. It broke my heart to sell it. But I sold it to another friend of mine, Ardale. And um, a couple weeks ago, I texted Ardale. I asked him if he still had the gun. And he said, yeah, you want it back? I said, I'll buy it back from you if, you don't, if you're not using it. And he said, I'll give it to you. Now, you know, that's when you know you got a good friend. Ardale knew the gun meant a lot to me. He didn't care about money. And I had sold him a brick of ammo with it. He even sold me, uh, he even gave me the brick of ammo back. So to you, Ardale, God bless you, my friend. You, people like, true friends like him are, are very hard to find. So anyway, I'll take you and show you this interesting little firearm here. Now this gun's so old, it doesn't have any serial numbers on it. And when you first look at it, it looks like a bolt action 22 long rifle, but it's not. Now, if you can see that there, the hole, that's 22 caliber. You can see the gun is empty. It's only a single shot, so there's nothing in there. But the interesting part is, it goes from 22 caliber to about 40 caliber. You can see the size compared to my finger. About half of the barrel is 22 caliber, then it opens up to about 40 caliber. You can see here it has a bead front sight not a ramp sight like a rifle has. This is a 22 shotgun. It's a Remington 514 single shot 22 caliber shotgun. And the story with these was they made mini clay pigeons about the size of a silver dollar. And they were going to start a miniature clay pigeon contest with these. Um, but it never took off. But a lot of the farmers and ranchers bought them up to shoot rats and mice and stuff in their barns. Um, so anyway, I'll give you a, a better look at it here. You know, it's still in very good shape for a gun this old. It's funny, when I went down to pick my firearm up, there was an older gentleman in there. And he asked me what gun I was there to pick up, and I said, I'm here to pick up a 22 shotgun. And he says, oh, you mean rifle. I said, no, I mean shotgun. Most people have never heard of it. Now, there's no rifling inside the barrel. It's a smooth bore, just like any other uh, shotgun unless you have a slug gun. Um, but it's just an all around very interesting rifle and it kind of broke my heart to sell it. So when Ardale offered it back to me, man I was thrilled. Again Ardale, if you're watching this, God bless you my friend. Can't believe how happy you made me. Now the ammo it takes is 
like the CCI birdshot, and you can use the CCI birdshot out of it. This is the crimp shot. It's a 22 long rifle uh, crimp shot, bird shot. And I have a whole brick of them, 500 rounds. Anyway, folks, that's the story with that little gun. I got some gloves on because I just got done giving it some loving. I scrubbed it all down, uh, lubed it up. So I'm going to put her away now. I'll probably never shoot it. I don't know. I might. But oh, another interesting story. Zeke told me when he was a kid, they used to go out and stomp grasshoppers in the field. And when the grasshoppers would go up, they used a little shotgun to shoot them. That's what they did for fun. Uh, Zeke passed away uh, last year, or actually, I believe it was uh, two summers ago now. Um, he was 80 years old. God bless his soul. He was a, a retired sheriff, um, a gunsmith, a competition competition shooter. He reloaded his own ammunition. He was a bullet caster, uh, a fisherman. He just an all-around outdoors. Sportsman-like guy. He was a great guy to know. Had a wealth of information when it came to firearms and reloading. And I sure do miss talking to him. And my friend Ardale, I don't think there's a better Christian alive than him. I mean, he walks the walk, he talks the talk, and he's a uh, just a great man. And I'm blessed to have a friend like him. Well, thank you, folks. God bless you all. And thanks for watching. I appreciate you all. Have a great day.